What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Mia, okay? Uh, she actually went viral the other day, randomly. Um, but as I looked into it, she had been posting things. She's been responding to people on Instagram, and she's been posting things to her Instagram stories. Basically, she's reposting other women taken up for her in her fight to... Uh, change her wrongs, so to speak, to sort of rewrite her own history. And that's what people are trying to do in society. They're trying to rewrite history. But you cannot rewrite what is already out there. And what I found interesting is that she's warning other girls about getting into the, not only into the adult industry, but also about joining OnlyFans. You know, now... I want people to, to, to understand this, okay? She's now having regrets about the things she signed up to do, okay? She signed up to do those films. It wasn't like anybody made her do it. She chose to do it on her own. She was over the age, I believe, of 20 at the time. She said that she had low self-esteem. And the fact that she feels the need... To, again, this is a good thing because it's good that she wants other young women to not take the same path that she took. But instead of her putting her energy there, she's more focused on trying to get people to stop bringing up her past. But people are going to bring up your past if you do not embrace it. You know, it wasn't that long ago she was doing these films. It wasn't like it was 10 years ago. Okay? It's fresh on a lot of people's minds. And the fact that she's trying to immediately pull away from that. And you still using the same name because she's she benefits from it, you know. I think people gotta understand it now. Again, it's a good thing that she has warned these other girls because there's a lot of these these females who are joining OnlyFans, right? And they don't understand that stuff is gonna follow you, okay? Just because on OnlyFans doesn't mean there can't be leaks. I mean, there's always leaks on OnlyFans. That stuff is going to get out. And if you're looking for a future past that, you can't do that, you know? Like, you have women who used to work in the in the script clubs, you know what I'm saying? There was, you know, that was, I would say you had the ones that did it before social media got big. So when they stopped doing it, no one would really know, you know? Some of the people, maybe locally, maybe, locally, maybe. But other than that, they can go and start a new life elsewhere. But when you do what she has done that she embraced, that she still has the same name. She could have changed her name. She never did. She's embraced it. And I think that the one good thing that Mia could do, okay, is that she could definitely speak to these, these females and tell them the things they shouldn't do. That's where her energy should be. Not on trying to get people to ignore what they've seen a bunch of times, you know? And again, you have a lot of these these females, these younger females, that they don't care about the future. They really don't. Uh, that's why they are getting OnlyFans. You know what's funny? Right before I started recording this, I saw that uh, <laughs> Evelyn Lazada, I believe, may have started OnlyFans. So a lot of these women starting OnlyFans, man. That shows you where they are, man. These women have been dating these rappers and athletes for all these years. And now, at the age of 40-something, they're getting OnlyFans. Ain't that something? But I do think that it's good that she wants to speak to these females and tell them, you know, she should avoid this, this and that and third. Um, but I also saw something, too, that, that, that really was annoying was that she posted in her IG stories about how, you know, they wanted to, you know, uh, <laughs> the BB bros are over. The B bros are over and all these other companies are over. And she's promoting that as if she didn't sign up with those people. Uh, there's tons of women who signed up with those people. And, you know, uh, they benefited from it just like she did, you know. Uh, and also, let me just say this about Mia. Mia wants to get people. She wants to erase what she did in the past, right? But there are tons of other women who've done what she has done who don't get the flack that she gets. And what she doesn't understand is... They don't get the flack that she gets because they haven't gone to the depths of attention seeking that she has. 
I mean, Mia, let's not forget, the only reason why Mia is still in people's consciousness is because she was constantly putting athletes on blast. She was constantly putting this athlete's DMs on blast, that athlete, trolling this athlete, that athlete. You don't think that stuff is going to follow you? It's not like she was doing what she doing, then she stopped and people just kept trolling her. No, she was an attention seeker, okay? And... She was putting these guys on blast, not understand that stuff could ricochet into her direction to where she's getting trolled. You can't troll people like she did, um, posting people's DMs and trying to ruin people's reputations and think that people aren't going to remember that. That's the accountability that she has not had. And that just shows you the generation that we are in. You have people that don't want to be accountable for their decisions and the things that they have done. She made those decisions to do those videos. Now she wants to take it back because she's in a, uh, I guess, in a different space in her life. But you never know because she still has the same name that she used. It's not like she's using a completely different name and trying to distance herself from it because she benefits from it. She benefits from it. So people are going to continue to bring it up. But I will say this, though. There are other women who've done what she has done who don't get flack. You know why? Because they they embrace what they have done. And nobody gives them criticism or flack from it. They give her flack from it because not only she's trying to run away from something she did, re, uh, I wouldn't say too recently, but uh, under the last 10 years, but she's also put people on blast trying to ruin people's reputations. It's bad when you have other athletes trying to warn other athletes not to deal with her. That's, that tells you everything you need to know. It ain't because of what you did, the videos that you made. It is because of who you are and the things you've done. You take no accountability for it. You can try to cancel anybody you want that you signed up with and you did videos with. The things that you did outside of that is what is going to get under people's skin the most. And what I am seeing in this situation, again, it's good that she is trying to to really tell these particular females the, the the right way of doing things right but i see i still don't really see any accountability on her end as far i mean i've seen some okay but the fact that she's promoting these these companies being over because she signed up with them they're, they're saying that, well, her fans are saying that, that these girls are being taken advantage of. Are you serious? Seriously. Are you serious? These companies are not, first off, okay, these companies are not going to get themselves caught up. They, they're going to make sure they have everything straight to where they don't get caught up in these particular situations. But you're seeing now that instead of them having accountability and saying, I chose to do this, that, and third, they want to still go and blame other people for the decisions that they made. And that is, that is basically, that sums up the generation of women that we have now. The generation of women we have now take no accountability for anything. It's everybody else's fault. Okay. It's everybody else's fault. You chose to date this guy. It's everybody else's fault why that relationship didn't work. It's everybody else's fault why men don't approach you. It's everybody else's fault for everything. No accountability. And they wonder why they cannot get the life that they want. They cannot have the relationship that they want. They can't have the career they want because they don't have accountability. It's everybody else's fault. You have to be accountable. I feel like Mia has been somewhat accountable, but she's still playing the blame game. When she has to understand, nobody cares that you did those videos. The fact that you're not embracing it, the fact that you are known more for putting athletes on blast than anything else, it just shows that they're just that the maturity still ain't there. It still ain't there. And people are going to continue to bring up your path. They're going to continue to hold against you because you continue to run away from it. You don't embrace it. Other women are able to embrace it. This is why you have women open up the OnlyFans account and they're, well, right now they are, but you know, maybe a couple years down the road, they'll act like they never did OnlyFans. Okay. That, that could definitely happen. And I also want people to understand something. 
I have done a couple videos. I haven't done as many videos as you would think I've done on her, on Mia, but I, I've done a couple, okay? And they've had a point to those videos. There's a point to this video, and I'm gonna keep it logical and red pill like I always do. You have a, again, Mia represents this generation of women, even though she's a little bit older than a lot of her fans. I think a lot of her fans are, you know, women who are in their late teens, early 20s, and they're just as confused as she was when she was that age, according to her. They represent the type of women who are not going to have what their parents may have had. That's if they come from a two-parent household, because the women are choosing to ruin their reputations early in life. And then when they get older, they want to rebuild it back up. When their value is the highest, they want to run crazy, do whatever, and put mileage on themselves. And then think that, you know, a Prince Charm is going to come along, Mr. Perfect, and, and fix them up. That's just not how it works. Not in some cases it do, but nowadays they don't. And a lot of these chicks that are getting these OnlyFans accounts, they're getting it because they're thinking about the right now. I have seen relationships broken up because of OnlyFans. I did a video about it. This female was willing to break up with a boyfriend because she wanted OnlyFans. He's putting his foot down. He's saying no. She wants it because, again, her mindset is I want attention by any means necessary. And if I can monetize that attention, I'm going to do so because these people are trendy. It's like the people who walk around in these masks and they have nobody within 20 feet of them. You know, they, they just do what everybody else is doing. And those type of women, man, are going to have it very difficult out here because they have that follower mentality. They want to do what other people are doing, not understand it could be detrimental to you in the long run. But they don't think about the future. They think about right now. And that's what's hurting us right now as people because we're worrying about right now instead of five years from now. That's why these females have no, uh, they have, it's, it's easy for them to go and do, you know, uh, adult movies. It's, it's easy for them to sign up and do OnlyFans because they don't care about the future because they're only thinking about right now.